Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me um, today and Deja and I are going to go get some drinks and I'm going to do my hair, my makeup and we're going to get dressed and the whole shebang. So I even have my nails done. Let's get into the makeup. So right now I'm going to go in with the NYX Plump Right Back Primer and this gives like a tacky feeling on your skin it also hydrates your skin it has it's like this pretty it's this bright yellow and i always make sure i get it like in between my eyebrows because that seems to be like the most place where i get dry and that's not cute I'm going to be using this Beauty Blender foundation all over and I'm going to be using the IT Cosmetics brush. I'm definitely a brush foundation girl. I used to not be, but I feel like as I got more into makeup, I liked a brush better. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Kosas Concealer. I really like this um, concealer, but I make sure I go up with it by my eye. And I try and keep foundation away from my under eye so then I can just focus the concealer um, where I want it to be. And then... Kind of do my t-zone and then i'm just going to use this little beauty blender i got it from marshall's and i blend it out so next i'm going to go in with some blush and i'm using the liquid face beauty Camus camusi i'm not really sure how to explain it but it's a really pink shade and I'm just going to focus it kind of up on the high cheekbones and then I'm just going to pat it in with my fingers and then bring it down kind of like that and I like using a I like using a liquid blush on the first layer and then I'm um, going over with the powder and I'm just gonna do a little on my nose because I like the little look of a some blush on your nose and then I just have the milk makeup bronzing stick that looks like this and I do that kind of like right on my cheekbone like that I like to make it like as high as possible and I go in with an elf brush and blend it out. I'm not good at contouring my nose just yet but I kind of make a circle and then the two lines right there and then I squeeze my brush to make it smaller. I am not good at contouring my nose. I feel like I need to get better at that. I don't know. I just feel like I can do better with it. Okay, so I'm going to use some loose powder. This is the kind I use. I'm taking one of these like powder puffs you can get them on amazon you can get like literally 10 of them for like a couple bucks and then i'm just going to powder my under eyes i don't really like baking so i don't really ever 
fake just because I kind of have more of that like drier skin but when you are baking and you're concealing your concealer make sure you go up with it so you're getting that like snatched look and then I'm gonna go underneath my bronzer where I put it and kind of making sure that is Then with a random brush, I'm just going to get rid of all the loose extra powder. And this is what my base is kind of looking like. I know from then the blush kind of goes away, but it'll be worth it. I don't know. That's just how I like to do it. So next, I'm going to move into blush powder. And I got this Beauty Creations. Um, I got this from an Ipsy package and it's really cute. This is what they look like. And I use both of them. I just take a blush brush, get off the excess and make sure we're still staying kind of at the tops of your cheekbones so you get that snatched look. And then feel free to like go up on your temple. I think that that's like really pretty. And then, like I said, I like to do just a little bit on my nose. Just so it gets a little color. I'm definitely a blush girl. I used to be a really big highlighter girl. But I feel like as I got older, the blush is just my friend. So that's what we're going for. So this is the bronzer that I have been using lately. You can kind of see that. It's a really deep brown color and it's a little bit brown, too brown for my skin tone right now. So I try and use not that much. And I go over right where I put my other bronzer. And you want to make sure that you're getting into your hairline and then I'm just going to go on my neck and bring it down just a little bit and then I need to blend this out a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to take just like a small, I don't even know, brush and then I'm just going to kind of go over where I contoured my nose so I did that like kind of like that circle and then I kind of blend it out like that and then just blend it with your finger and then I'm going to kind of put some shadow not really an eyeshadow brush but just gets a little bit of color onto my eyelids next I feel like my camera keeps moving so I'm sorry if that ever happens I'm going in with a L'Oreal brow defining brush and I always do my brows kind of more at the last step I know a lot of people do their brows in the beginning and I've tried it but like I don't know I can't get on that because it just I feel like I mess it up after everything but I just line them on top and then I line them on the bottom and then you always have to blend so spool it out some more And then I just have this like eyebrow like kit thing that I got a little while ago and I use like a dark shade because I, I like my eyebrows dark because I think it's because like 
my hair is also dark as well so I just like to match it and then I just use this Anastasia brow freeze gel I've used it plenty of times as you guys can see but I just take a spoolie and then I ever so slightly shape them that was a long break pause um but i shape them and these I, I like it but you have to know like how to work with the brow freeze because sometimes when i first started i had no idea how to use it but i think they look good and next we're gonna do some highlighter and i have no idea where my highlighter is my highlighter actually broke. I'm using a different one, but I'm using this one. I got it from an Ipsy package, and this one is so pretty. So we're going to be using that with highlighter brush. And I just like putting that super far up there. I like my other highlighter better. I feel like this isn't really like showing up. Oh, there we go. I have to use a lot. I haven't used this highlighter in quite some time. So now you can start seeing that like glow because at first I was like, what? Where is it? But now you can see it. And then this thing is a from NYX. It's like a jumbo like white highlighter. One of my favorites. I'm like almost out of it you see you have to go get it so i'm also gonna put like a line on the bridge of my nose and then blend it put it on the button like that and then just blend and then i like doing um some highlighter in the corner now we're gonna go in with our lips i have this nyx line lip liner i think this is in the shade nutmeg there we go oh wait you have to wipe off like any gloss that you have on so i have chapstick right on so i'm gonna go wipe that off okay one thing that i have been starting to do is get getting some loose powder and putting that on my lips before i put any um product on them they feel gross because they're just so dry and like there's makeup on but I swear it does something grab your lip liner and align your lips so right now they're lined I think pretty even yeah and then Fenty this Fenty gloss the Fenty Glow Heat and then I'm also going to put the cupcake one on which is this like pinky color in the middle and then I'm going to go in with the pink shade I'm going to dab it off but I don't have any paper toweling with me right now but I'm just going to finish off with the Superhero mascara from it cosmetics which if you guys know it's my favorite mascara so my makeup is finally done the end result and i'm just gonna clean up my area and then we're gonna head the bronzer and then um we're gonna do hair and then we're gonna pick an outfit okay robe is off and we're gonna tackle the hair i actually got dressed i'm feeling kind of i kind of want to do like a sweatpants style so i don't know if i'm gonna keep this off on but i'll let you guys know but this is what my hair is looking like right now i don't know how i want to style it just yet but this is a spray bottle that i use you can get it from amazon it's like one of my favorites, it's like that like Mr. 
spray. I should actually be getting some more hair products in the mail today. They said they're supposed to be delivered from Sephora. Some Mizani curling stuff. So I'm super excited. So if that is here by the time we're back, I'll open it up for you guys. But I just like to have my hair like super drenched. Well, not super drenched, but I'm gonna go in with this Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Frizz Free Mousse. And it's not my favorite like curling mousse, but it'll have to do I feel like it brings back some of the curls that I've had um, but obviously my hair isn't like drenched so it's not really gonna come back super defined because I don't want to go out with wet hair because you know here in Wisconsin it is cold. So I decided to go with the low bun look just because I want to keep it casual. But I'm using the Eco Styler gel, the green one. It's my favorite gel from the Eco Styler. And I don't like to use a lot of gel. But have my hard brush. And I'm just going to flatten it out and put it in a bun. Hair is done. I'm gonna put some perfume on. This is, I have like hair all over me. This is the Sweet Like Candy by Ariana Grande. I just have it in the roller, as you guys can see. I always just put it on my like forearm and wrist area. The stuff smells so good, like I recommend it. And then, it kind of like right here okay don't mind like this stuff this is the christmas stuff that we still have to put away but here is what i'm looking like so far i have these um little sandals are from target nike sweatpants they're like oversized sweatpants i love them and then this top i got from h&m but i think i'm gonna put on some jeans so let's go do that it's like so weird to see myself in jeans. I haven't worn them in a while, but I think we're gonna go with these. And then I just have this jacket on. I got from H&M. I got it in size medium. It has like orange, but I don't know. I thought it was cute. So I'll be wearing this and I still have to decide my shoes, but I will let you know, but we're going to this place called just we're going to this place called Fat Tuesdays and they have like frozen drinks there. So we're just gonna get a frozen drink and not have to stay inside the whole day. So yeah. We're going with the black ultra mini Uggs to match my black jacket. So yep. back we went to fat tuesdays i got my drink i got green apple and what did i get green apple and what 
oh yeah electric blue so green apple and electric blue super good my tongue is green but i got a size large it's 15 bucks bless you Thanks. i like how my makeup turned out but i'm in some comfy clothes now so dejan like bless you dejan liked the drink as well but it was like a sit down place i didn't really realize it was a sit down place and like they have like to go cups so i did my makeup for literally nothing but yeah my package isn't here yet but we're gonna make some dinner we're having gravy mashed potatoes and some salmon for dinner there it is Okay, so I'm back in my original spot. My package came, so excited I'm out of breath. So let's open it. I bought this stuff from Sephora and I was able to get a free trial of this perfume. Their free trials are so small, but let's try it out. Mmm, that smells good. This is the Floral Street Van Gogh Museum's Sunflower Pop. Floral Street. It smells really good. Definitely floral. If you like floral, try it out. So for my products I bought, I'm so excited. I recently just got my hair done, um, like last week, and she used these stuff on me and I was like, I love these, so I bought it. So this is the Mazzani Styling Foam Wrap Mousse. So that's what I got. It's like the mousse that I used today. And then she also used the 25 Miracle Nourishing Oil on me. And these products smell so good. Yeah, very good. Like these are, products are perfect for a wash and go. She used this on me for a wash and go if you have curly hair. Oh my gosh, it smells just like the salon. It smells so good. So if you have curly hair and you do wash and goes, I definitely recommend this. I'll be doing a hair care routine super, super soon. Um, me doing that wash and go. But I'm going to end off this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you liked the makeup look. Very simple makeup look. This is the makeup look that I do every day. Um, when I do wear makeup every day. And this is the makeup I do when I go out. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.